Something's wrong there. I got an email from someone that said, Shane, in your videos, you show that when the slide hits the 12th fret, it's the octave up, which means if you hit an open G and you take that slide the whole way to the 12th fret, it should sound like one octave up. Well, he said, my guitar, whenever I hit the 11th fret, that's where it sounds like the octave. What am I doing wrong? It's very simple. And let's talk about this. We're going to troubleshoot this guitar. I use this as an example. This is the Shane Spiel Macanudo Cigar Box Guitar. I've got some on sale over at stubbyslide.com. Um, these are just like the ones I made back in 1996. The one I fell in love with. Um, so, he said whenever he plays the 12th fret, it sounds out of tune. And I'm going to do a little close-up here and describe this a little more. Uh, let me move this camera right there. Okay, so, when the slide hits the 12th fret, it should sound like an octave. But this doesn't. It sounds sharp. Actually, what my tuner is reading is that it's um, just flat of A. And I would have to move it back to just below the 11th fret to get the exact G chord. What's going on here? It's very simple. The bridge has been moved. The bridge is out of position. Let me take the camera, bring it back out. Okay, and I started this video before I did, I moved this bridge out of position so I could show you. Now, when I built this guitar, I used my favorite scale of 23 inches. It's based off an old Stella guitar that I had back in the 90s, and that's the guitar I based the fret length for all the cigar box guitars when I was first building. Um, so I know that between the nut and the bridge, it should be exactly 23 inches for my guitar. Now your guitar may be different. Let's find out how to set your bridge in the proper position. And once you do, then you should have proper intonation where when the slide hits the 12th fret, it sounds like one octave up. So what we do for any guitar, this works on any guitar, not just a cigar box guitar. I have a tape measure here. And let's see, I'm gonna just bring the camera, where is it? I'm sorry, the camera's wonky. Here we go. I am going to take this tape measure right to where the strings pass over top of the nut. Not before it, not after it, but right where they pass over top. And I'm gonna measure it to the 12th fret. I'm gonna do another camera close up here. At the 12th fret, this measures 11 and a half inches. Okay, so from the nut to right where the 12th fret is, is 11 and a half inches. Now to get the proper placement of your bridge, multiply the length of the nut to the 12th. Multiply that by two. So for this guitar, 11 and a half inches times two would be 23 inches. So I take my tape measure and I go here and I see and again I'm working with ha <laughs> not enough hands uh, I see that 23 inches is right where my thumb is and this bridge is way off so let me go back out and as I'm sitting here I am going to move this bridge back and I'm Basically, I'm just going to take this here. I see where it hits on the artwork. And I am going to take this bridge and I'm going to move it right back to where it should be. I don't want to chew up the paper too much. Usually, you could uh, loosen your strings if you need to. All right. So, let's double check. Tape. And it goes back just a little more. Right about there. Okay. We now have the bridge at the 23 inch mark. 
because we've multiplied the length of the nut to the 12th fret, the 12th fret line. We multiplied it by two, got our 23 inches. Now let me retune this guitar because that will knock it out of tune. Let's go to GDG. Now, whenever I take the slide up to the 12th fret, it's right there, one octave. So there's an easy way of checking your intonation. If your slide is not finding the right notes over the fret markers, your bridge may be off. And that just means measuring from the nut to the 12th fret, multiplying by two, and then measuring and putting it there. Now I have, there have been other instances where I've seen people who have made cigar box guitars that made one fatal mistake as they were doing it where uh, and this one person took a fretboard a printed fretboard it didn't have frets on but it had the lines drawn and this person put it on the neck first of all she had like a 25 inch neck the fretboard was a 23 inch scale fretboard so number one the frets would be off number two that person put the fretboard starting right about here away from the nut. So you gotta make sure you have, if you're using a fretboard from somebody who, who sells them, you gotta make sure that the length of your fretboard uh, or the length of your neck corresponds with the fretboard that you buy. And it always starts at right where the nut is. You can't move it forward. But that's just something very different um, if you're using different parts to build one. But other than that, if you do that, if you draw your fret lines on, you have the fret line set and uh, you measure it out right, you shouldn't have a problem. The only other reason that things may be sounding sharp or flat to you is something I showed in a lesson before, that when you're playing slide, that slide goes over the fret, not in the middle like you would press with your finger. It goes over the fret, right over it. And you don't smash it, the slide just needs to touch it. So, the way you play sometimes will affect whether it sounds in tune or out of tune. And that just comes along with it. That's something that you gain through practice, through having fun. Um, I, for years, back when I was first building these, I would sit in my living room and just practice getting that slide over top the frets and getting myself used to going. And just getting that slide right over, right over top those fret lines. So I hope that helps, a little troubleshooting for your cigar box guitar. My name's Shane Spiel. Hey guys, are you on Instagram? I'm on there, I put stuff over there too. At Cigar Box Guitar is my handle. Check me out. So, all right, again, these guitars are over at stubbyslide.com. Along with this, this is the King Slide over at stubbyslide.com. Thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe and like this video. I've got a whole bunch of stuff coming. I'll talk to you guys soon. Yeah, baby.